to my channel today we will continue with chapter 1 electrostatic so in this video we will discuss on 1.4 charge in a uniform electric field so in this subtopic there are four cases okay which is uh, the first one is a stationary charge okay and the second one is the charge moving in uh, perpendicular to the field and the third case is the charge moving parallel to the field fourth case is charge in uh, dynamic equilibrium so we go to first case stationary charge okay consider a particle charge q naught and the mass m is a stationary and placed in a uniform electric field okay so usually uniform electric field okay in a, for this case is for a parallel plate okay and the electric force f exerted on the charge is given so f equals to eq or qe okay so if you refer here here we have the positive charge so when positive charge is stationary meaning that this charge is not moving okay so why this charge is not moving because if you refer back to this positive charge this positive charge is actually experience a electrostatic force that pull this positive charge to the negative plate okay and at the same time this positive charge okay, it experience a weight that acting downward okay so when we say the charge or the particle is not moving or stationary meaning that f net is equals to zero meaning that it's equilibrium okay so when f net is equal to zero meaning the electrostatic force is equal to weight or eq is equal to mg okay so similar for negative charge okay negative charge also will attract to the positive plate okay will attract upward and experience a electrostatic force okay and the weight also is acting downward okay so similar again when we say the net force is equal to zero or the particle is stationary is not moving a is equal to zero f net equals to zero therefore the force acting upward okay which means our uh, electrostatic force will equal to weight okay so this is our first case okay case two charge moving perpendicular to the field so consider an electron with the mass m enter a uniform electric field e perpendicular with the initial velocity the upward electric force will cause the electron to move along a parabolic path towards the upper plate okay so meaning that initially this uh, electron is moving horizontally okay so meaning that we only have ux Okay, so here we have ux for example 10 meter per second okay where at this time ui is actually equals to zero because the electron only move in horizontal okay so we assume that ux is equal to 10 and also, but ui is equal to zero because it only move in horizontal uh, path okay so what happens when this electron enter to the parallel plate okay so negative charge here or electron here is actually experience an electrostatic force that pull this charge upward okay because electron will move to the positive plate okay so Initially, it's moving with the velocity v, and then this electron at the same time it experiences an electrostatic force that attract it to the positive plate. Okay, so what happened to this electron is it will move in a parabolic path. Okay, so this is our v resultant. Okay, so at the end it will move in this parabolic path because it's experienced both. Huh? One is the electrostatic force, the attractive force, and at the same time it also has the uh, elect uh, the velocity huh? because it's moving horizontally. Okay, uh, so meaning that. Even though, and here also here we have the force, and also here we have v. Okay, uh, so similar here we have force, and here we have the initial velocity. Okay, so this v is actually v resultant. Okay, so now we want to uh, resolve. Okay, resolve it into x and also y component because for this type of questions, it involve x and also y component. Okay, here I have uh, drawn a table. Okay, uh, to see uh, what is the uh, component, the x and y component. What is the velocity? What is the acceleration? And what is the displacement? Okay, so u x is equal to 10, for example, initially is 10, but u y is equal to 0 because initially it's only moved in horizontal. Okay, how about v? Okay, v x will always equal to u x eh, because horizontally there's no attractive force eh, pull this electron to the left or to the right. So meaning that our acceleration for x component is 0 eh, because there's no attractive force acting on x component. Okay, however, for y component, okay, v y here, we can use v equals to u plus 80 to find the velocity for y component okay because initially y is zero huh? but when it enter to the uh, parallel plane this electron it will experience or accelerate okay it will accelerate and then it will move okay it will move in y component so our vy we can use these equations v equals to u plus at to find the velocity for y component okay okay a for y component is actually F equals to MA huh? because Y component there is an electrostatic force and electrostatic force also equals to MA okay and F also equals to EQ okay and it's also equals to MA so therefore our acceleration is equal to EQ over M okay so this acceleration is actually 
for y component only, yeah? okay, a for x component is equal to zero. But for y component, because initially it's zero and then it accelerates upward uh, because it's experiencing electros electrostatic force, therefore there is an acceleration acting on this negative charge from y component. Okay, so how we find the acceleration from y component? So remember our a for y component is equal to eq over m. Okay, okay, how about s? Okay, ss is equal to uxt uh, similar like semester 1 chapter 2 ss will always equal to uxt because there's no acceleration and sy we can use s equals to ut plus half at squared okay where a here you can substitute eq over m into or you can find first then you substitute into the equations to find the displacement for y component okay so what is sx what is xy okay so our xx is actually the horizontal displacement so this is sx Okay, and also xy is the uh, the vertical displacement okay this is our xy okay so remember this is how we find uh, the component x component and y component for the velocity acceleration on also displacement okay so uh, this is the table uh, easier for us to refer back okay if refer we uh, refer back to the uh, the statement here okay from the newton's law second law f equals to ma okay so since the electron experience an electrostatic force so f is equal to eq or e is for the uh, symbol for the uh, electron okay therefore the magnitude of electron acceleration okay this is the equations where our a is equal to e e over m okay so this symbol here is actually depends on okay what are the particle okay if let's say electron okay so you substitute e Okay, if I say proton, okay, you can substitute Q. Okay, so it depends on what are the particle that you insert. Okay, and the mass here is also depends on whether it's proton or electron. Okay, so we can use or we can substitute the equations uh, based on the particle. Okay, so if I say this is a mass for proton, so you must substitute mass for proton. If I say this is an electron, you must substitute mass of electron. Okay, okay, then since the uh, the direction is moving upward, therefore our AX, then, as I mentioned just now, AX, there's no attractive force acting on x component okay only y component therefore a x will always equal to zero okay here this is the uh, statement that i mentioned just now a x is equal to zero but a y is equal to eq over m okay next the path made by the electron is similar to the motions of the ball projected horizontally above the ground so the component of electron velocity after pass through the electric field are given okay so since there's no okay there's no electric force Okay, that acting on the electron for x component therefore our vx will also equal to ux okay so this is what i mentioned just now vx will equal to ux and because it's constant however for our vy we can use v equals to u plus at where a here okay a here you can substitute e eq over m okay where a uh, where u y is equal to zero because initially uh, only horizontal movement okay so u y initially is zero okay Next, the positions of the electron. So, xx will always equal to uxt and our sy is equal to ut plus half a t squared where a here, we can substitute eq over n. Okay, and again, because initially u is 0, okay, so we can cancel out. Therefore, our sy is equal to half eq over m times t squared. Okay, so this one all already uh, written here in the table so you can refer the table okay uh, but one thing that uh you need to know is because ui is zero so this one actually you can cancel okay ui is zero so you can cancel off ui yeah? okay next we will go to case three okay case three is the charge moving parallel to the field okay so consider the particle charge and the mass m is moving parallel to the uniform electric field so f equals to eq okay so since only electric force exerted on the particle thus this force contribute the net force and cause the particle to accelerate so for this type of case uh, meaning that we will ignore the the mass uh, okay we will ignore the mass okay according to the newton's second law the magnitude of the acceleration of the particle is given so here we only consider the x component uh, if you refer to this diagram okay so if you refer to this diagram, positive charge it will attract to the negative plate, okay. And uh, if let's say initially the plate is moving same direction, uh, if let's say it's moving to the right, and coincident this positive charge is attract to the right, meaning that it will accelerate, okay. So case one here, okay, it will accelerate because they are same direction, okay. However, if initially this positive charge is moving, okay, if initially this positive charge is moving to the right okay it's moving to the right okay and at the same time this positive charge is attracted to the right 
So meaning that they are in opposite direction. So when it's opposite direction, okay, meaning that this positive charge it will become slower or it actually decelerates. Okay, so meaning that if they are same direction, it will accelerate. Okay, if let's say they are opposite direction, they will decelerate. Okay, so similar for negative charge. Initially, if the negative charge is moving to the left, and coincidentally, our negative charge also will attract to the positive plate. So same direction, they will, okay, they will accelerate. Okay, meaning that it will become faster because uh, it attract to the left. Okay, attract to the positive plate. Okay, and if let's say initially it moved to the right and negative charge is attracted to the right to the positive plate meaning that it actually it will slower the movement okay so this one is decelerates okay uh, so again for explanation part if they are same direction they will accelerate okay if let's say opposite direction it will experience deceleration okay so this is uh no matter for positive or negative as long as same direction it will accelerate if let's say opposite direction it will decelerate okay next we will go to the last case case four charge in a dynamic equilibrium dynamic equilibrium actually is a little bit similar like case one okay just that case one is the charge is initially is not moving okay but case four initially the charge is moving a uh, dynamic meaning that it's moving okay so dynamic equilibrium means that the charge move okay actually it's moving with the constant velocity perpendicular to the electric of uh, directions of the electric field and the total charge acting on the charge is actually zero okay why zero because of the word constant velocity so when v constant okay a is equals to zero when a equals to zero our f net also will equal to zero okay so this is case four case one just now is when v equals to zero a zero f zero okay so this is case one just now okay now we refer back to the diagram if the particle travel in a straight line with the constant velocity okay and it, uh, its weight are equal in the magnitude okay so initially this charge negative is actually moving horizontally to the right okay so when it when it enter to the okay when it enter to the uh para plate this negative charge actually it will attract to the positive plate okay it experience an electrostatic force okay but this uh, particle not uh, moving in a parabolic power because at the same time it experience a weight so this type of patient usually they will give you uh, the mass or the weight of the particle so when they give you the mass or the weight of the particle okay usually it's oil drop okay so that at that moment you need to consider the weight so for this case actually this charge will not moving okay upward or in a parabolic path because of f net equals to zero okay because v is still constant so when v constant meaning that our a is equal to zero when a equals to zero f net also equals to zero so when f net equals to zero meaning that the force acting upward must equal to force acting downward okay and then we say it's equilibrium okay so force acting upward is actually our electrostatic force and force that acting downward is the weight so we can write as qq is equal to mg okay so this is how we get the um, the value for if you want to find the electric field line so we can use these equations to find where e is equal to mg over q Okay, so we can use these equations to find the electric field line. Okay, next. 1.4 big. Okay, so E is equal to delta V over D. Okay, so usually this type of equation, we use it in a pair of plate. So consider a uniform electric field is produced by a pair of the flat metal plates. This is a pair of plate. One of each is Earth and the other one is potential is positive V. Okay, so if you refer here, okay, when V is positive, meaning that this is a positive plate. When V goes to zero, usually this is a negative plate right? because our V is actually reducing. Okay, for example, let's say this is 10 volt. So when it comes to here, it will reduce to uh, 9 volt and then reduce to 8 volt. Okay, and then reduce again to 7 volt and so on. When you reach here, Okay, it will become V equals to zero volt. Okay, so our electric field line is actually in the directions of reducing of the potential, electric potential. Okay, so if you refer here initially when uh, D is, okay, this is our D. Eh? This is D. Eh? Okay, so when D is reducing from zero to D, actually your V is also reducing. Eh? From 10 become, finally become zero. Okay, so our graph. The graph is a straight line with the negative constant gradient. Okay, from here we notice that it's actually okay, it's actually a negative gradient. Okay, so we substitute into the equation. Okay, zero minus v over d minus zero. Therefore, we will get the equation for electric field strength E is equal to v over d. Okay, d over v, and usually this one is for parallel plate. 
Okay, so that's all for 1.4 explanation. Okay, please click on the next video. We will continue to discuss on the example for 1.4. Okay, see you. Bye. Thank you.